My name is Olufunke Faduba. I'm a student of Babcock University in Elysian. I'm 300 level, studying educational planning. And today I will be talking about the relevance of language in national development. In the course of this program, we will look at the meaning of language, the impact of language. We will also look at our local languages. And we will look at the national language. We will equally look at the question of whether we need a second national language, that is French language. How are we even using our local languages? Are they relevant to us? And how can we adapt language to promote national peace and cohesion? That is the essence of this program. I hope that at the end of this program, you will be convinced that language is a tool to achieve national development and cohesion. You are welcome. Turning stone to bread, and so we all must lend a helping hand. We are the world, we are the children, we are the one to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Oh, I have been chairman of Lagos NUJ for six years, I'm a journalist, and this project I'm doing is to transit from journalism to education, where I hope to positively impact on the lives of the younger ones and also give back to society. Welcome. hundred different local languages in Nigeria. And these languages varies from one ethnic group to another. But our colonial masters, Britain, they gave us language as our national language. That means apart from the ethnic language, Maybe Yoruba, Ibibio, Igala, Hausa, Fulani, Igbo. Then you also speak English to be able to communicate with other members of the Nigerian society. English language, when it was first introduced, helped Nigerian youths to gain employment in government service. It helped them to be, it, it improved their marketability. It also, for instance, we've had issues of insecurity in Nigeria. You know the full, current Fulani Edsman crisis with the farmers? Language has been a barrier because even when they are planning to attack, the indigenous, the ethnic groups, they don't understand their language and they wouldn't know that they were about being attacked. But if they really understood the language, they would have been able either to befriend the Fulani headsmen or to run for safety. Again, we want to say that Nigeria needs to look for another language. French has become very key internationally. French is the ninth most populous language being used across the world. Permit me to speak about language first. What is language? Language is not an invention. It is something that we are born with. Language is what you acquire from the older generation to the younger one. In fact, also dictionary defined language as beginning of what? Yes, the only Bible defined language that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. That means that language has been part of creation. Apart from that, Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary defines language 
as system of sounds and words used by human beings to express feelings and thoughts. Whatever you are thinking in your mind, you need language to bring it out. Microsoft Ekata Encyclopedia, in its several definitions, say language is the speech of a country, a region, or a group of people. The Encyclopedia says, to speak the same language with somebody is to have values and interest in common. That is, because we speak the same language. That is, language can bind us together. It is very sacred. It is a sacred gift given by God. A recent edition of the annual abstract of, of statistics of Nigeria indicates that 354 languages are spoken in Nigeria besides English. Wikipedia identifies 370 Nigerian languages. In these 370 languages reside our values, our metaphysics, our cosmology, our spirituality, and the true identity of Nigerians. Furthermore, Wikipedia categorizes the major po uh, and politically influential ethnic groups as Hausa, Fulani. They constitute 29% of the Nigerian population. Yoruba, 21%. Igbo, 18%. Ijo, 10%. Kanuri, 4%. Ibibio, 3.5%. Thieves, 2.5%. In some states, we have people who have more than four languages, like in Cross Rivers. We have Bete, Bekwara, Baumono, Adun, Adin, Abayan, and in some cases, a tribe cuts across more than two states, like Fulani, who are in Bauchi, they are in Bono, they are in Jigawa, they are in Kaduna, they are in Kano Katsina, in Kebi in Niger, in Sokoto Taraba Yobe, and so on. Of these almost 400 Nigerian languages, only five, namely Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Efik, and Ibibio, are available as academic courses. That is, they have so developed to the point that we can study them, we can know their origin, and we can equally know their various adepts and be able to apply them. But most of them are facing threat of extinction because we are no longer speaking the languages, our native languages, with our children, and the languages are under threat. To promote better understanding, cultural identity, and national cohesion, the government and the communities need to tackle the problem of indigenous languages rather than dealing with challenges faced with the lingua franca, English. Instead of emphasizing English language, why don't we tackle the problem of our lingua franca? Why don't we promote our local languages to ensure that we have cohesion, to ensure that we have unity of purpose as a nation? to ensure that we are further binded together to achieve growth. Again, when you look beyond our local languages, Nigeria seems to be like the biblical Babel, where they spoke different. They were speaking one language before. They had unity. They had cohesion. But when they attempted, maybe we attempted to unseat God at a point, and God now decided to scatter our languages, to give us different languages. And we are like, Nigeria could be classified as a Babel of sorts because we speak different tongues. I, if a Yoruba person may not want to do, have anything to do with an Hausa person, an Ibibio may not want to do, have anything to do with the Igbos. However, our central values have been threatened. Our corporate existence, has also been threatened. And without serious effort being made to remove this perpetual divisiveness that is being caused by our indigenous language, Nigeria 
may not be able to move forward. We have ethnic allegiances, and this is highlighted mostly in the diverse languages that we speak. Let me go back to the English language. English language, yes, is our language, is our national language. But if you look at it now, we have multinational companies in Nigeria, and French is being used. Our youth need to adopt French language. Even if you look at our neighboring countries, you want to talk about church, you want to talk about Cameroon, you want to talk about Benin Republic, you want to talk about Niger Republic, Equatorial Guinea. There, they speak French, except for Equatorial Guinea, where they speak Portuguese. In view of the not too clearly defined geographical border between Nigeria and its neighbors, whereas we speak English, our neighbors have also strived and they have acquired English to be able to communicate with us. But we are laying by. We are not striving to acquire their own language, French, to be able to communicate with them along our borders. And that is why we see incursions by citizens from these other countries coming in into Nigeria as dissidents. They are even pretending to be part of us. Meanwhile, they are not part of us. But because we don't understand their language, we seem to be at a loss. Nigerians and neighboring countries are characterized by mutual mistrust, suspicion, and hostility. Interestingly, the boundaries between Nigeria and Cameroon are the longest of all Nigeria's international boundaries. Hence, our immigration personnel, as the gatekeepers at the borders, need to be appropriately equipped, not only in terms of military or technological hardware, but also effective border control in the use of language. The activities of smugglers can also be effectively controlled when we are able to speak the language of those who perpetuate these acts of economic sabotage. These foreigners, when they cross into Nigeria, they are able to beat our intelligence apparatus as they communicate their plans and signals in their foreign language, French, right in our presence. Nigeria, as part of our foreign policy, should inculcate the French language to project and to defend her national interest within the international community. Let's look at the use of language in international diplomacy and economic empowerment. There is a strong case for French language in Nigeria. France has an overwhelming influence on Nigeria's immediate neighbors. Eight out of the countries in West Africa are Francophone. 31 out of 51 countries in Africa speak French. It is also a major language in Europe. Hence, Nigeria as a nation and Nigerians as individuals should, as a deliberate policy, cut the friendship of France, beginning with our ability to communicate in French. If Nigeria and Nigerians could domesticate French as a second national language, it will place the country and the citizens at advantage in the 21st century, as the world becomes a global village and international communication is key to us to achieve anything, to achieve national interests of creating employment opportunities and projecting local content in multinational companies, Nigerians need to embrace the tenth most used language internationally, and that is French. French language is an added international value for employable Nigerian youths, hence its relevance to national development. Let me even ask you. What is Nigeria's current national language? I told you, it's English. 
what are the benefits of speaking more than your own indigenous language? It promotes cohesion. It promotes unity. It promotes better understanding. It promotes mutual understanding. Hence, you need to understand more than your native language. You need to acquire one other language and be able to live very well. Who are Nigeria's uh, neighbors? I told you. Chad, Niger, Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Benin Republic, Equatorial Guinea. Yes. Besides Equatorial Guinea, others, they speak French language. And that is why we need to make French our second national language, to be able to monitor our borders, to be able to ensure that when dissidents swim into our country, we are able to detect them. And we can equip the average Nigerian to be security conscious using language as a tool. Besides, I told you, French is the tenth internationally used language. And for Nigeria to continue to attract foreign investments into the country for the advantage of its youth, then we need to adopt French as our second national language. Language is a tool for national cohesion. Language is a tool for national development. Language is a tool for peace in the country. Language is a tool for values, to project our local values, to project moral values, to project loyalty to the government, to project responsibility to government. Take language as a major issue, even in national development. It's been only from Kefaduba encouraging you to see language beyond just a tool. <laughs>